All right, welcome back. Uh, so this app is going great. Uh, we've got uh, posts that are loading up. We can make posts. Uh, we've got a load more system to where we're not just flooding it with a million posts. Uh, what's still left to do? <laughs> um, there's still some things that are left to do. Um, so some things that are left to do are mainly um, edit and delete. Uh, so if you're doing CRUD, right now we've really only done create and read. Uh, we don't have any way to update it. So if you type a post just slightly wrong, uh, you cannot edit it. Um, if you say something really dumb, you cannot delete it. Um, and we need edit and delete. The other thing we need, uh, so we're going to focus on edit and delete next, is we've actually got a whole nother like, route to go, right? So we've got uh, the all post route, uh, and then we've also got the my post route, which will come up after that. Uh, but what we're going to focus on this time is edit and delete. Uh, we'll kind of tackle things in small chunks. Uh, so here's kind of the uh, the solution, right? So this is the, the solution one. Um, and so there's a couple posts here at the top. Uh, so this is a, a Mrs. Fake post. So this is one that was not made by me. Notice that I have no way to edit Mrs. Fake post. Uh, McKinley Fisher can't edit McKinley Fisher's post. Uh, here's one that I made. Uh, so this is a demo for edit. Now I can edit this one, right? I um, mean, really all I'm worried about now is the, is the UI. And the way the UI works is when you hit uh, the edit pencil, um, it transforms um, the text into an input, right? So it just kind of transforms it into an input. And so that's where you can edit things. And you can cancel uh, to just kind of say, hey, I, I choose not to do it. Um, and so that's the edit. And then there's also delete, uh, which will just blow it away. Uh, and delete also has a button on here for undo. Um, and so if you hit undo in time, uh, you can actually undo that. Uh, so let's go back over uh, into our app. Uh, and the first thing that we want to do, uh, let me clean up some data here. Uh, there we go, clean those off. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to have uh, pencil and trash can icons over here. So we want to see them, um, and we want to see them at the appropriate times, right? So I don't want to see them down here on um, you know posts that were not mine. I only want to see them on my post. So let's go in and let's uh, work on making those icons show up. So I want to go into the post components HTML. Uh, and you can see that we've got kind of like the author name um, and then the post body here. Uh, but bigger picture, we've got an image uh, and then we've got a div. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another div. Um, so this is all going to be in a row. Uh, so it'll be like the next row over. Uh, and this div, I like to give things flex rules. So we're going to say that it's a flex layout row, which admittedly is, is the default. Um, saying flex layout is important because it makes it a, a flex box. What we're going to put in here is we're going to put in two buttons. Uh, and the buttons that we're going to put in are of type MD icon buttons. Uh, and this first button, if you click it, uh, it's going to be our edit button. So it's going to call a function. We'll just say enable editing, right? Uh, and this button is going to have an MD icon uh, inside of it. So I ought to say MD icon. Uh, and the MD icon that I want is called edit. Uh, that actually is a pencil uh, icon, which is nice. Uh, and then the other button that I want is going to be very similar. Uh, it's going to be a remove button. Um, and so it's going to be a little trash can icon. The name for that one is the word delete. Um, and as a reminder, you can look that up by going to I think it's material.io.icons. Uh, uh, if you look up delete, uh, you can see that that's a little trash can icon. And if you look up edit, um, well, there's a bunch of edit things, but one of them in here is a pencil, I, I assure you. Uh, cool, so right now they should always display for all posts, uh, ones that I made, ones that I didn't make, it should just show up for everything. So you can see we've got little pencil and trash can icons, uh, even for the ones that I don't own yet. Cool, so let's go make these two functions, just kind of stub them out. Uh, so I've got to go into the TypeScript. Um, it's funny how little TypeScript there is inside the post right now. But I need an enable editing, uh, and I need a remove. Um, and I like to put little console logs in here. Uh, we'll just say like to do uh, edit. Maybe I could be more verbose and say enable the editing mode. Um, because as you remember, when you click on the icon, it doesn't really do any editing. It just brings up the uh, the input box, right? 
Uh, and then this one is going to be a to do uh, delete the post. Uh, delete, remove, doesn't matter. Uh, but just kind of make sure everything's wired up good. Uh, when you click on pencil, uh, it doesn't matter which pencil, it says uh, enable. When you click on delete, uh, it'll do delete. And remember that these buttons are within the post, so it knows which post it's deleting. Uh, so let's talk about this uh, editing mode. So it turns out that there's really kind of three editing modes. There's um, when it's not your post, uh, which means that you want no buttons at all. Uh, when you're in the middle of editing, so when you're in the middle of editing, if you recall, went to a save and a, a cancel button. And then when you, you know, can potentially edit. Uh, so there's kind of three modes. The way I like to do um, things like that is uh, I think of it as an enum, so an enumerated type. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an enum. Uh, and I'm going to put it just right up here above my component. Uh, and I'm going to say export enum. Admittedly, nobody's really using it outside of this class, so I guess I don't need to export it. Uh, fine, I'll take off the word export. I don't think I'll regret that, but in my notes it was uh, exported. Uh, inside the enum, some people choose to use you know all caps because these are uh, constants. If you want to use all caps, that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of standards these days where people are using less and less uh, all caps. Um, I think that feels really weird, um, but I'm trying to embrace it. Uh, so you can just do it lowercase like this, right? Um, and since we're going to be using these in our HTML as well, um, it's sometimes easiest just to acknowledge that really enums are just numbers. Uh, and so like this one is a number zero, uh, a number one, and a number two. It's totally valid to specify uh, a number like this for enums. Admittedly, those were all the defaults, uh, but I went ahead and specified them anyway. So those are the three modes that I might be in. Uh, and then inside my class, I'm probably going to need a variable uh, called, uh, you know, the editing mode, uh, which is of type uh, editing mode. Uh, and then at some point, I should set that editing mode. Uh, some people that are really elegant uh, choose to declare the variable up top uh, and then initialize it in the constructor. Um, it doesn't really uh, matter to me. Um, and so you can do it like this, but to be honest, you could shorten your code considerably uh, by taking this uh, and popping it up here. Uh, and you don't have to say the variable type because it's obviously inferred from the right hand side. So whichever way you want to do that is fine by me. But the editing mode by default is, is not editable. Let's go over into our HTML um, and let's only show this div right here um, if we're in a certain editing mode. So we're going to have an ng if on this. Uh, we use ngfs a lot, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, and it's going to be based on the editing mode. So we're going to only show this if we're in editing mode one. There's probably some way in the HTML to reference the enum by name. Um, I haven't, didn't bother to look up what it is because it's, it's pretty easy for me to just say, um, you know, it's for one equals display this. So now uh, all my things should go away. Uh, if I wanted to see them come back up, uh, I could just change the the variable to display edit buttons uh, and you can see that now they all come back up and then later we're going to have um, you know the mode of editing um, and it's going to show different buttons but we'll we'll make those when we need them right all right so i'm going to go ahead and set it by default to not editable uh, so now i don't have buttons anywhere um, so it's kind of like extreme one case not extreme the other case now what i want to do is i want to decide uh, what the editing mode should be. Um, and the way you decide is if you look at this post, um, so we can say if, um, you know, this dot post with author, um, if the author key is equal to the person that signed in right now, uh, and we can get the person that signed in from the auth service. Uh, now we have to use dependency injection to get the auth service. That's easy peasy. I love services, I really do. Uh, and so we import this. Uh, and so now we say if it's equal to the off service dot current user ID, um, then that tells us what editing mode we should be in. So we can say this dot editing mode is equal to uh, editing mode of display the edit buttons. Now we could also have an else on here and we could say not editable. Uh, but that actually is the default, so I think that I'll just go with the if. 
So now uh, it should show those buttons in only the right places. Uh, so it looks like all my quotes have them, uh, which is great. Uh, and then Keegan's here does not, uh, and then the fake ones do not at all. Um, and I still have exactly 20 posts, so there's a load more button, which doesn't load more. Um, but I got what I wanted, uh, and that's I got my edit buttons in only the right place. As soon as I get the capability to, of delete, I'm going to delete a bunch of those. Uh, but just, <laughs> just right now, they're still on there. Uh, cool, so I think that's worth a check-in. Uh, so that is display, uh, edit, and delete buttons when appropriate. By the way, I've noticed that my uh, comments <laughs> on my, my log messages have gotten very verbose. Uh, there's a recommendation to keep those shorter than what I do, but, but that's okay. Um, and I think what I'll do is just because it's fairly easy, let's go ahead and implement uh, remove right now. Uh, and so remove, I guess I should not have closed all those files. Uh, so remove happens right here. Uh, so remove, you have the option of, you know, do I want to just shoot it out of Firebase from here uh, or do I want to have my post service do it? Um, and obviously we should do it via the post service, even though it's, it's basically just a one liner. Uh, we should organize things and, and put tasks like that inside the post service. So do dependency injection for the post service to start things off. Uh, import him, make him flow on a separate line. Um, and we'll just say, uh, hey, this dot post service, uh, we need to come up with a, a method for him. We'll just say remove, we could say remove post, uh, but we'll just say remove because he's the post service. So we don't need to say the word post twice. And the only piece of information he needs is uh, the key, right? So we want the uh, post with author dot dollar key. So if we give him a key, uh, he'll take care of all the work. So there's a remove method. So I go over to my post service. Uh, so he's got an add, he's got a display more post, and now he needs a remove. And he's going to get a key to remove, which is a string. Uh, and he's going to return nothing, so void. Oh man, I've been getting lazy about not putting my return voids on here. So those are both return voids as well. Um, and so now he's got to, to shoot it out. Um, there's two different ways you could shoot it out. Uh, you could use the standard Firebase database. Uh, so it's just going to be firebase.database uh, ref uh, child um, and this dot post path and then another child of um, key to remove. <laughs> it's getting kind of verbose here. Uh, and then finally, we just call the, the remove method. Uh, and so this should successfully shoot them out. Um, this one's kind of verbose. We'll see if we can make it a little shorter here in a minute. Uh, so if I take 15, uh, you can see that I pop them out. Um, and if you wanted to watch them die, um, you know, over in your <coughs> Firebase console, you know, you can. So if I hit delete there, you can see that, that one died. Uh, then delete on there, that one died. Cool, so that totally works. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, just to mention it though, you can make this like line of code a little bit more um, succinct. Uh, and that's if you wanted, you could, um, when you say ref, you can actually like put in a path right there. And so what you could do is you could use string interpolation um, just to kind of make that a little bit shorter. So I switched to back ticks there. Uh, oops, I was missing a parenthesis there. Um, so my reference uh, goes to uh, slash post path slash key to remove dot remove. Um, and that should do the exact same thing as my more verbose uh, child child thing. So let's just go ahead and shoot out a couple more. Uh, so there I'll knock out number 10. Uh, then I'll knock out number nine. Um, and so you can see that that works just fine as well. Uh, and while we're talking about alternatives, um, you could also do it with um, Angular Fire, right? Uh, so if you wanted to do it with Angular Fire, I think we've got access to, uh, to DB in here as well. Uh, so if you look at the constructor, you can see we've got DB as well. Uh, so we would say um, this dot DB uh, dot object, uh, and the object is the same path uh, dot remove. Uh, and that should actually do it as well uh, using the Angular Fire uh, API. So 
I don't know, it just doesn't matter what you do. Um, the reason I typically don't do this one is because I'm afraid that it'll like um, do more work because with Angular Fire, you can do things both way. Uh, but to be honest, I suspect that if you evaluate it, they're both equally efficient. So now if I hit delete, uh, he goes away uh, and he goes away. So, I mean, <laughs> Which one you use just doesn't matter. Um, they're they're identical, um, and I just I choose to do things like this just to make sure you're comfortable with the different APIs and things that you can use. Uh, all right, so that was uh, delete, um, and the next thing we're going to do is going to be the undo capability, uh, but that's going to be a little harder. So we'll do that uh, in the next video. So uh, it's working now. So I'm going to remove that comment log. Uh, looks like I got a blank line there, which I'll remove that. Uh, and then my service, oh, I added the word void on those guys. Um, it uses the standard Firebase SDK uh, without the word child in it. Um, and then it's got the other one here as a reference. So this is uh, delete a post uh, without uh, undo yet. <laughs> uh, all right, so that'll wrap up this video, uh, and we will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.